Paul, a very frustrating night for everybody. I suppose the only uh, one thing they did see was Hamish Rutherford in the peak form, but that was about as much as they got to save us. So, uh, you know, your thoughts? Just a damp squid, unfortunately. I think uh, everyone's aware that there was two very good sides on show tonight. Um, I think it would have been a really good game. Um, good sides, some good individual players as well. A couple of guys making debuts for clubs. So, uh, you know, a real shame because we know there was a good crowd in tonight as well. So all we wanted was a good pitch. I uh, made the best side win, so um, I think common sense prevailed at the end there that you know everything was really wet. So uh, we'll walk away both with one point and then we we'll move on to Middlesex and uh, Kent later in the week. Yeah, indeed. Uh, 2020 sometimes can be a bit of a lottery anyway, over 20 overs. Did they get to a point where you thought that perhaps you know, a five or six over game might just not have favoured us as, as much as we would have wanted? No, we fancy playing. And like I remember playing a five-over game here a few years ago against Surrey, and um, we wanted to play. Surrey didn't want to play that night. Our attitude was right, so the players wanted to play tonight, even if it was six, seven overs. Um, so uh, it was unfortunate that uh, the rain beat us tonight. Um, like I say, we take a point, we move on. Yeah, indeed. And as you say, Paul, end of the week, Middlesex and Kent coming up, back-to-back -back matches. Uh, going there, obviously, with the same renewed energy that we had going into tonight's game. Uh, Hamish showed what he can do and uh, well, yet to unleash Sean Tate on the uh, unsuspecting world, but I'm sure he's going to make his mark. Mm. Well, listen, all our preparation and our plan has been really good. We've had uh, four or five days good work this week um, on our 2020 skills, um, so I know the guys are ready to go tonight. Um, so if we continue to practice and prepare like we have done for tonight's game, you know, we look forward to those games at uh, Laws and at Canterbury. Two tough games because we know it's a tough crew and there's good sides. Um, so uh, we look forward to those matches, but in the meantime we've got to play England here starting on Sunday. We've got a good side out for that game. So we're hoping one or two of our players can find some confidence, um, especially in the top order. You know, if Alice can get some runs against the likes of Broad and Finn and these guys, that should give them a huge amount of confidence to go into the second half of the season in Championship cricket. Yes, indeed. Well, wish you well on that and let's hope the sun shines on us, Paul. Thank you.